In today's video, I will be showing you how to install Unity to your Windows 10 PC or laptop. Unity is a fantastic program that allows you to build amazing games. It has so many features built into the program. As you can see, I'm on their website at the moment and I have opened up free tabs, just giving you an idea of what sort of games you can create in this program. If I open up the first tab, and we scroll down, you can just see from the pictures that you can do so much in Unity. You can make games for consoles, PCs, mobile phones. There is just no limit to what you can do in Unity. If I go on to the next tab, you can see this is console and PC games. If we scroll down a little bit, you have some of the games here that have been made in Unity and I must tell you, there are some pretty amazing games that have been done in Unity. If we then go onto the mobile page, as you can see, there are still so many games that have been made for mobile phones using Unity. You can see all the screenshots here. If we go back to the main page again, the link is in the description below to Unity.com, where you will need to go to download Unity. You can also see full guys Ultimate Knockout was also built using Unity. It uses the Unity engine. So I don't know if you've played that game, but it's a fantastic game, extremely fun. And it just gives you an idea of what sort of games you can create in Unity. So the first thing you're going to want to do is click on the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. We then need to click on get started. You now need to choose if you are installing Unity for a team or if you're just simply going to have a little play around yourself as an individual. So we can then click on this tab here. You can then choose if you're a student or if you're installing it personal. I'm going to go ahead and install this for personal use. So we then need to go ahead and press get started. And as you can see, it is free for personal. You will then end up on a page that looks like this. We now need to go ahead and click on start here. And you then need to agree to the terms. If you do agree, then you can go ahead and click on that big blue button that says agree and download. We then need to go save file. And then once Unity has finished downloading, we can then go ahead and run the setup file. Also with Unity, there are lots of guides out there and lots of information on the Unity website which will really help you out when getting started with Unity. Also, if you'd like to see me maybe do some tutorials on Unity, then comment below and I will definitely look into doing that. So we now need to agree to the license agreement. If you do, click I agree. And we can now choose where we want to install Unity. I'm happy for it to be installed on my program files on my C drive. So I can now go ahead and press install. Once the install has finished, we can now keep run Unity Hub selected and go finish. You then need to press allow access as we want Unity Hub to have access to the internet. And this is now the main install for Unity. So as you can see, it's got a install location I'm happy for it to be installed on my C drive under the location of hub, then editor. So I'm now going to go ahead and press install. You then need to create an Unity ID. If you already have one, then go ahead and press I already have an ID. If you don't, go ahead and sign up for a Unity account. Once you have signed into your Unity account, you will then end up with a screen that looks like this. You can select a micro game that you can use as the foundation for your first project. So as you can see, you have lots of different options. You have a Lego micro game, you have FPS, carting, a platformer, or just empty 3D. I'm going to go ahead and select carting and go continue. So it will now show a video for your first game, as you can see it is there. Once the install has finished, you will then end up with a button that says launch Unity. We can now go ahead and click on this button and you now need to allow Unity editor access to the internet by pressing allow access. And there you go, as you can see, I am now currently in Unity. This is what it looks like. You will have a get started with Unity window pop up. So you can go ahead and explore the project or you can start the tutorials. 
If you've never used Unity before, then I highly recommend you start the tutorials, or if you just want to explore, click explore. I'm going to go ahead and explore the project, and as you can see, this is the karting game. And it looks really, really cool actually. You can straight away see the graphics and everything you can do in Unity is extremely good. If we go ahead and run this game, so if you want to run a game in Unity, then all we need to do is go to the top here where it says play, and you will then be able to play your game. Also on the right hand side here, you may have noticed we've got loads of tutorials as well. You've got information on the editor UI, the play test. There's, there's just so many tutorials that Unity gives you. So now let's just have a little drive round. There we go, this is the karting game in Unity. So you can basically get a really good idea on how to build your own go-kart game. So that does now bring me to the end of this video. Comment below, let us know what sort of game you might make in Unity. And also don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and it did help you. And subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.